cats can be funny creatures. Sometimes they have funny ways of showing affection, like headbutting your hand. And they have some funny ways of showing displeasure, too, like pooping on your clothing or drawing blood. Today, we're going to tell you about the 10 signs that shows your cat really hates you. Number 10. The cat hisses, growls, bites, or sinks its nails into your skin. Signs like these shouldn't be hard to ignore. Hopefully you realize that these are obvious signs of a cat's displeasure. Hissing, growling, biting, or slashing, or digging their nails into your skin are fairly clear indications that a cat is not happy with you. Of course, some cats do play a little rough, and most cats will give a love bite now and then. But if your cat bites you hard enough to break the skin, that is one pissed off cat. Let's be real. Hissing is absolutely terrifying. It's a quick reminder that you have a natural born predator living in your home. There's no two ways to interpret this sign. If your cat is hissing at you, it's definitely not happy with you. Number nine. The cat's tail looks mad, lowered, puffed up, or lashing. Your cat's tail is one of the best ways to understand what your mysterious pet is feeling. The height of its tail is a telltale sign, <laughs> get it, that your cat is feeling happy or upset with you. Generally, the lower the tail, the more likely your cat is in a fearful or hostile mood. If the tail is tucked under its body, they're definitely not feeling you, so back off. How can a tail look mad, you might ask? But once you learn how to read a cat's tail to interpret its mood, life with the cat will be much easier. Sometimes a cat's facial expression is hard to read, and some claim cats always look mad. But the tail often gives them away. To know how a cat really feels, just look at its tail. If the tail is lashing around, puffing up, lying low and stiff, or dragging on the ground, your cat might be annoyed, on edge, stressed, defensive, or fearful. A twitching isn't necessarily a bad sign. Sometimes it's playful. But when the tail whips back and forth like a whip, it's usually a sign to stay back. Number eight, the cat poops or pees on your stuff. Sure, accidents happen, but there's a good chance that was no accident at all. Cats are known to use their excretions as eloquent means of communication. Some cats use their poop like a little hate note to convey their displeasure. When they're upset, cats often forget the litter box, and when they are feeling threatened or stressed, they mark their territories by urinating in random places or spraying walls to lay claim. That poop on your pillow is likely a very loud and clear message, one that means exactly what you think it means. Your cat might be trained to know that they're supposed to go to the bathroom in their litter box, but if they don't always do that, on purpose, not because they had an accident, that could be a sign that the two of you aren't the best of friends. A blog post from Jacaranda Animal Hospital in Davie, Florida, noted that if your cat leaves a mess in an obvious place, like the middle of your bedroom, that's them marking that territory as theirs and advising you to stay away from it. Number seven, she ignores you or avoids eye contact. Sometimes when a cat doesn't like something, it will simply pretend it's not there. This applies to people too. Cats are very adept at giving cold shoulders. If a cat refuses to look you in the eye, if it won't look when you call or react to your presence, you know you are a persona non grata. It's almost like the cat could ignore you out of existence. If your cat regularly stares at you but otherwise doesn't seem to be upset, or anything out of the ordinary, you might not think anything of it when they start staring, but it's not always completely innocent. Staring is a telltale sign of cat aggression, as noted by the ASPCA. 
and it's a sign of offensive aggression, not defensive aggression. The ASPCA noted that you shouldn't touch, punch, or try to comfort a cat that's displaying a sign of aggression. Better to try to figure out what they're responding to. Number six, the cat disappears whenever you come around. Cats are often private and independent creatures. It's true. Still, even the most standoffish cats like a cuddle and a pet every now and then, or at least a meal. If your cat never ever asks you for affection and even disappears whenever you come in the room, there's a good chance it's avoiding you on purpose. Cats will scatter when they don't feel safe and they'll slink off when they are feeling stressed. If your cat is hiding from you, it's a fairly clear sign that the cat doesn't want you to see her and she doesn't want to see you. Every pet owner knows how heart-wrenching it feels when they enter a room and their pet walks out. We try not to take offense because we know animals don't operate on the same social code. We do, but seriously, how rude. Cat owners are especially accustomed to their pets needing their own space. But if your cat is consistently disinterested in interacting with you, they're probably not that into you. No offense. Number five, she seems to like other people, just not you. Sure, it's natural for someone to have better chemistry and rapport with some than with others. This is true between people too. Cats are notorious for playing favorites, and some cats are just cooler than others, never warming up much to anyone. But if your cat turns to others for pets, but consistently snubs you, runs up to say hi to others, but always slinks off when you enter the room, this is a clear sign that the problem is not them, it's you. Number four, its ears flatten and turn back. Along with the tail, the ears are another telling feature of a cat's emotional state. When those ears turn to the side or fold back, it's a good clue that the cat is feeling on edge and defensive. Cats press their ears back flat on their head when they're feeling defensive or aggressive. This is usually the first sign that they're about to go into attack mode. So it's a good idea to put some space between you and your kitty kitty. Number three, she doesn't relax when you're around. Sleep puts a cat in a vulnerable position. A happy cat will lie down, relax, snooze, and even expose their belly as it sleeps. He will not do any of these things if he does not trust you. The less comfortable a cat feels, the less likely he'll be to let down his guard. According to Jessa Pasek, pet behaviorist at Mars Pet Care, a hiding cat is not a happy cat. If your cat is always hiding, it may mean they are not comfortable in their environment, Pasek said. But if they've been around for a while, then you may want to visit the vet's office. Pasek noted that hiding could be a sign of an underlying health issue. Number two, the cat won't touch or be touched. When your cat trusts you, it will offer many physical expressions of closeness. It will lick you, rub you, groom you, and sleep on you. But if you are a dangerous creature, a cat will not let you get close enough to inflict damage. If a cat insists on maintaining distance, it's a good sign that the cat does not have faith in your intentions. If you don't get any headbutts, lap sits, or leg rubs, it's probably because the cat does not trust your motives. Number one, the cat's eyes are dilated or thin as a line. When a cat's pupils get big, round, and black, dilated, it's usually caused by fear or excitement. When the pupils constrict to narrow slits, it's a sign of anger, agitation, or arousal. Our cats communicate with us in very subtle ways, and one of those ways is through their eyes. A cat's mood can be determined by a combination of understanding cat body language and cat pupils. Narrow pupils mean your cat is feeling aroused by anger, fear, or pleasure. Arousal can be caused by many things, anger, fear, and pleasure, primarily. 
Do let us know in the comments if your cat is showing any of these signs. Please subscribe to The All Cats. Thanks for watching.